Now, I know you've been dying to tell me all about your weekend, and I've been dying to hear all about the weekend in Byron. So oh, let's yeah, kick yeah. it off from Friday. You may have um, heard Kyle interrogating Brooklyn about the winds. And the he was weather. Like, oh, I can't oh, say right. what I'm doing, but it just can't be windy. Well, well, it was very windy, but anyway, it was fine, because I knew I was getting the private jet up to Byron. <laughs> Where so, are you now? Yes, yes. So that's always fun because, like, you know, I, I thought, okay, because I knew about maybe I knew about Zach's party for about two months, and uh, I was like, oh, I better check the, and I leave the last minute to organise the flights, no business class flights, and I was like, oh, okay, oh, no, it's hard oh, to get, yeah, and have to PJ it up. That's that's what they say, people who fly I know. jet. You don't know, I do know, uh, but anyway, I see that on Vanderpump Rules. Oh, do you? Do anyway, yeah. so we PJ it up there, and then like so a few friends, I, I took a few fr- friends with us, all friends of Zach's, uh, nice family. Get there, get the car, and my place is just four doors down from Zach's place, right on the beach. Beautiful spot. I mean, a little nice little uh, two-bedroom, brand-new little sh- beach hut. Yeah. I thought it was going to be some shitter from Gilligan's Island, but it was beautiful. Nice, nice. Amazing. And the party was the same day you arrived. Yeah, so I arrived. I went to the house. Everyone else went to Zach's place. Zach was out, so they they'd set the whole party up and everything like that, so... I had a little he afternoon. knew it was happening. It wasn't a surprise no, party. No, he had no idea it was happening. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it was, so a, it was surprise. a surprise party. Yeah, surprise party. party. He had oh, no so idea. When, when the paps were photographing him walking into the house with yeah. his girlfriend... He'd been out for lunch. He just thought he was coming back from a nice day out. Exactly. So uh-huh. we were all in the backyard. You, uh, like, who invited you? Oh, well, Vanessa invited me. Is that like... That's Zach's his, girlfriend. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's cool. lovely. Okay. Couldn't get a lovelier... Oh, so she knew. Sweet girl. She knew everything. She knew everything. She put the whole yep. thing together. Like that's she's a sweetheart. So anyway, we're all in the backyard. Everyone that you would think would be at that sort of place is there. I'm not going to go through every single person, but there was rock stars, movie stars, television stars, a very cool Byron sort of a crowd. You know that time. Yeah, yeah. Wearing a lot of linen and the big hats. And I saw um, you were carrying something, and I couldn't. Like oh, as a gift, yeah. And I zoomed in, and I'm like, I know that looks like a bottle of something, but I've never seen that bottle anywhere before. It was like a porcelain Spanish looking, because oh, sorry, Mexican, because uh, he loves tequila, so I imported a beautiful tequila for him to take up. Uh, right. Uh, so, but it did. When I walked in, the security guard that I see around the world, like you would have seen him at a lot of different things over the years, he goes to me, oh. Look what the cat dragged in. I said hello, and he goes, oh, you bought him a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> wow. <laughs> As if I'm buying him a salt and pepper shaker. No, it's tequila. <laughs> anyway, that was smashed that night, that tequila. Smashed? No. Well, oh, drunk. as in drunk. Oh, oh God, God I really thought someone change. smashed it accidentally. I've got to change the way I speak just so <laughs> Jackie understands. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, yeah, everything was drunk. It was lovely. It was all sorts of – it was a really nice thing. DJ, How many people would have been there? Maybe – 25. 25. Okay, 25 so it was or chill. 30. Was it a chill night? Or yeah, was it? totally chill. It was great. It was nice. Music playing, you know, the bar people there serving, oh, yeah. looking right over the ocean. Really lovely. Yeah. I bailed out early. I'd been up since 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. So about 10.30 or 11 or something, I was like, okay, See, I'm that's out. See, it's hard for us to stay up beyond that, Friday isn't it? Night. No, yeah. Friday night. No, Friday night. I'm sure worst. I probably could have kept myself awake if I'd have thought about it. If you had a tried, you could. But I didn't. I went home early, had a sleep, got up really early the next morning. And then, uh, oh, then we were at dinner again that following night. Well, so you guys all went out to dinner. Nobody yeah. pepped that, did they? No, we skulked around a little bit. Oh, so you're out at a restaurant? Out at a rest- right out the front of a restaurant, mind you. And nobody Out on the balcony, noticed. right on the street. <laughs> that was a really cool place. The Treehouse, beautiful restaurant. And what, like every same crew were there? Some of the people, maybe about 10 people were at that at the dinner. Yep. So that was lovely. And then I, I went and pulled the pin on that again early. I was first to leave. You know me. Yeah. I'm not last to leave. I'm always first. Yeah. And then um, the next day, they um, he wanted to take us all to a um, to a movie, and I was like, Mm-mm, "I'm not doing it." Well, when not, you got you got to understand, movies for us. Well, like I go work. to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> when we when we interview someone, we have to go see a movie, so it's now become like a job. That's right, and, and you know me. Ten minutes into life. every movie, right? I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. You don't want to be that guy, no. especially when there's only a few of you in there. Yeah. Well, there was no, so we rented out the whole cinema, so there was no one else there. But yeah, I'd imagine you would. 
But I think I couldn't do the movie. And I was, like, you know me, I'm a little bit of sun and, like, I've got heat stroke and, you know, I burn. Well, it doesn't help that you're wearing your hoodie around everywhere. No, no we, I didn't wear the hoodie. Yeah, uh, the photos I saw, it looked like you rocked up in a hoodie. Or was it a jumper? Oh, it might have just been a light jumper. It definitely wasn't a hoodie. Wasn't I it? I would have died of a very hard death. Yeah, okay. All right. But it was lovely. How uh, hot was it? It wasn't too bad. It was really nice. It was beautiful days. You know, then it got windy, and then I panicked on the jet coming home last night. So I was supposed to come home tomorrow morning, and I rang the pilot and said, no, I'm staying around, laying around on the in the grass and on the sand for the day, and then I'll, I'll come back maybe between five and six. Amazing. When you've got your own plane, you can do that. So the, You just ring the pilot and say, I won't be there. At 11 a.m. It's like a um a car hire service. Yeah, I won't be coming at 11. Uh, I'll be there between five and six. So any goss? Um, no, it was pretty chill. Do you mean did anyone like go crazy or die? I or don't know. Like that? Just no. people like want to know what happens inside those closed doors. Like we see you all rock up, but no one knows actually what happens inside. Yeah, well, there's I can't come out. And tell everyone what happens inside. But like, okay, who was sitting where? Who's talking to who? Were the Hemsworth brothers there? The, well, they, I think they came a bit late. They, it got a bit busy towards the end of the night. I met his folks. The Hemsworth yeah, parents were there. Yeah, I saw the there. dad was there. Were, oh, the uh, the drummer from In Excess, mm. uh, Ferris, what's his name? Oh, he's a top bloke. Him and I sat down. He's got a farm. i got a farm. We're talking all farm things. Yep. He's really, really sweet. Him and I haven't met before. Oh, okay. Yep. And then uh, there was some tennis star there. That, That's uh, Pat Rafter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah, knows yeah, who yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone at the party knew who he was. Yeah, it, but everyone in the country knows who well, he is. Well, I didn't know. Right. I, I knew, oh, you look like a sports guy. Anyway, after a few, bit of chatting, I realised, oh, it must be a tennis dude. Oh, wait, so what were you chatting to him about then? Was um, oh, I don't know what I was talking about by that stage. You know when you're talking and you realise, not I can't remember what I'm talking about? Only, you know, only if I've had something <laughs> that might induce that kind of behaviour. Well, it's boring, you know. Yeah, I know, right? But everyone was just so lovely. It was nice, and I've, I should have maybe chosen another colour palette to wear. Well, you know, how you I'm always black. wearing black, yeah. black everything, black, all black, black. Everyone was like very, like linen-y and I've mm. noticed that everyone was, like linen. was wearing linen and yeah, linen, very yeah. Nice. like mushroom colours and whites. And love, everyone was nice, but I thought, oh, I'm really black. Well, compared black. To what else. are you? What else are you gonna wear? Well, like, I I, I did actually buy a white short sleeve button up shirt yeah. and I put it on because I'm so huge. Yeah, I felt like you know, like I was the leader of some cult wearing it, <laughs> you or an ice cream man. Uh, so I took that off. I ripped it off the buttons. But I'm not wearing this. White it's so shirt. depressing when you're overweight and you have to go to things like that because everything wow. you try and wear, <laughs> and <laughs> you just think, oh, nothing. Nah, nah. I'm just gonna have to wear the black. And sometimes you think, you know what? I'm not even going. That's why I didn't go to the sometimes film. Sometimes you do. I you thought, what think, am I gonna wear? Right. These shorts and a black t-shirt again. I'm not going. I swear, when you're overweight, it stops you going places. Yeah. And when I had to give my weight to get in the plane, I was quite taken back. You do, you have to weigh yourself, I well, forgot. Well, you, you have to tell them how much you weigh. Oh, not it's in Fiji. You have to actually get on the scale. Well, they don't believe you. There's no lie. honesty trap. So I had to say, yeah, I mean, what go, did what's you that? give them? And they're like, oh, what? sorry, what weight? 100 and what? And I was like, 100 and, 100 and what? 100 and... 30? 39. I'd put on four kilos. Since when? Since the last couple of weeks. <laughs> four? Four. I thought you were being good. That's what I said. I went to the doctor and everything, and he said, oh, it looks like you've lost weight. Jump on the scales. He goes, oh, think again. <laughs> Did he say why? And I said, he said, it looks like you've lost a lot of weight around your neck and everything like that. And he, I just said, he said, maybe it's redistributed. I think that was a kind way of... Him just covering up the fact that I've lost no weight. Wonder why you're not losing weight. Are you doing? What are you having for breakfast over there? Uh, fried eggs on uh, white bread with smothered in butter. That's not too bad for a man of your size. Thank you. Well, can you roll back on the when you're grossly overweight? <laughs> oh, a man of your size. Anyway, we did have a really fun time. Lisa up there. has Everyone... a question. Oh, okay. On the phone. Hello. Yeah. 
Yes. Hi, Kyle. Hi. I saw the photo of you pabbed with Zac Efron, and I was so jealous. Like, your lifestyle seems to be so fun. I wanted to know, whilst you were there, did Zac Efron at any point take his shirt off, or did you see him at all? Oh, yeah, did oh, you see him? Did he take his shirt off, or did I see his penis? Is that what you're asking? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, at no, no stage that I think about, nor was he the penis on offer. The shirt was on the whole time. Um, you know, but there's other people around, you know. Not that it would have made any difference. Did anyone it, get in the pool? Nah, no, no one got no in the pool. No swimming. Uh, everyone was, it was very refined. Yeah. You know, the, it was sort of, you know, there was a DJ there in the backyard, but he was playing like a bees of music, like. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sort of Nothing vibe. Nothing too. Like, in your not face. like a, you know, evacuate the dance floor sort of you know, music. <laughs> Back you ain't the dance. You know that's not what. Why'd you crazy. point to me when you said? That? Oh well, you know, you know, like, you love that stuff. <laughs> I do. Uh, yeah, it was chilled. It was food and you what know, is alcohol. That, like, is I don't know if you can say, but is Zach just like happy with Australia? Is just going to stay here forever? He now? Absolutely loves Australia. He's like, well, he's in love with this girl, Vanessa. Yeah, they're lovely, beautiful couple. They do everything together. Uh, they're just they, really sweet and they're lovely. Is there a lot of PDAs with those two? Not overboard, you know, like, you know, when you see like a young couple macking on yep. in the little seat in Westfield and you're like, oh, please, get nah, a room. They're not, it's I not can't like imagine that. they're like They're that. just really sweet. They seem really settled and nice. Yeah, cool. Mm. That was cool. There's a few people that, you know, I, the faces that, you know, oh, I should know. Yeah, I know. But you know me, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who anyone is. So I'm wondering, oh, are you a famous So Melissa person? McCarthy could have been there and you just didn't really quite know who she was. You Is that know a big her. chick wearing like Camilla. You know, you know what Melissa McCarthy looks like. No, she uh, was. I, I just don't feel comfortable saying who was and wasn't, who's whatever. And Did my name come up at any stage? Never, not once. <laughs> no, not when no one mentioned you. No one asked. No. Oh. Did no. you bring me up at any stage? No. What? What for? Just I might have been a part of a good story you were telling. No, I don't have any great stories with you involved. Um, but we were having a big laugh at one stage um, at dinner the following night. So I was telling a story. You know how I hold court sometimes? Yeah, I was wondering where you were. I take over and ha- start yeah. telling the greatest stories that what have ever been heard. What story did you tell? Um, <coughs> it's, I just can't remember. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. L- listen. Like, it's all wasted on Kyle you know because what happened? he lives this great weekend, but then he gets so baked he can't remember no, a bloody thing to I tell us. I had another friend up there that cooks brownies, and, like, that's a whole different thing. So you can't even remember the story you told everybody at dinner that had them all in stitches? Not a clue. Oh, my God. No well, idea that's of the dangerous. story. dangerous. Oh, I know I do remember the story. Oh, yeah? It was when it was an airline flight, and I was coming back in India. One of the ladies I was there with, yep. a great friend of mine, she she said, do you remember that time on Qantas when we were flying back when Jet and everyone was on the plane? You were probably on the plane. I was on that, so I should have oh, been involved in this you, story. Do you, you, do you remember when India put the Qantas jacket on and had the neck scarf on? Yeah. And she dressed up as the first class hostess and went down the back because one of the guys from Jet's girlfriend was in economy. They couldn't get her up the front. Yes. And India pretended yes. she was the manager of the plane. Yeah, yeah. And went down and all the Qantas came and was like, come on up, sweetie, and... She brought her up and put her into first class with everyone else. I remember that. Yeah. And then they loved us for that. They loved us. But was that Jet? Yeah, it was Jet. Are you sure it was yeah. Jet? You know, are oh, you going to be my girl? Okay, the, yeah, no, I totally remember yeah, it. Yeah, one of the guys there, he had a new missus. So I was just left out of that story completely. Yeah, we told the story like you weren't even there. I just realised then, hey, you were there. I was there. <laughs> Must have been forgetful. <laughs> Did you dress up in the Qantas outfit? No. I didn't, but that's something India would do. She'd yeah. have the guts to do that. I wouldn't. Yeah. And then India was the one, because I, I couldn't find any bacon, so she was the one that asked the woman, bring him some bacon, uncooked. And it was a very. they all looked strangely, because I wanted bacon for the next morning. Okay, you're anyway, running out of stories now. I think that's oh, it. Right. So if there's no celebrity involved, like, yeah, you Yeah, I hear think the that's story. it now. If oh, you're asking for story. bacon for the next morning's breakfast, I think we're done. <laughs> we all do that on our weekends. <laughs> Okay, right, no worries. Well, I won't get to the part where I woke up and Zach was nude cooking the bacon.